Hi, thank you for coming. It's the first time that we have any conversation, and it's okay the way that it goes, okay? You don't have to be any other way. So, what do you want to have a conversation about? My life today is really tough, and I wanted to do something, but I don't know where to start it. Okay, what do you want to do? I am trying to figure it out, and I really don't know where or where to start or what I really want. What you really want in life, you mean? Yes. Okay. That's an important question, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And they told you, the your parents and your family and your friends told you that at the age of 23, you need to know what you need to do in life. Yeah, that's... That's right. Yes, and if you don't know, then? And it really upset me. It upsets you and disappointment for them. Yeah. Yes, yes. I got it. Okay, and then when you are upset and they are disappointed, does anything new happen? You find out what you, what you want to do. I really wanted to, but I don't know where to start. Yeah. You don't know where to start. This is human. And you are upset and they are disappointed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And is there something wrong with it? My dad died this year and mm. I don't know where to start since he's the one who, you know, guide me, everything, planned my life. And now that she's gone, I, I don't know where to start. Okay. Okay, so first I'm sorry for your loss, and uh, are you uh, looking uh, maybe that I will guide you? Yeah. Okay. I hope so. Okay. Okay, awesome. So (laughs) what is it that you like to do in life? If you look at your life, let's say in the last three months, three months or three years, what did you do during the day, during the evening? What did you do? Uh, today or yeah. last last uh, um as of today i'm I'm really looking for a job and I'm working on my resume and you're working uh, on your resume you are you are thinking about what you write you need to write in your resume is your resume in tagalog or in uh, or in english english yeah english we english okay and what is it that you're looking I'm asking you now, what are you, what are you doing? Okay, so when you're not writing the resume, and when you're not looking for a job, whatever that means, what are you doing? Uh, I'm studying so that I can, you know, pass an exam for, for me to have a bit, a better, a better input in my resume, and so okay. that maybe I can, I can make my family proud of me. I got it. Okay. So what is the exam that you are, uh, that you're studying for? Civil service exam. It's a exam for us. For the government? Yeah, for the government. Okay. Excellent. And when is the exam? Next year. It's in March. March next year. Okay, yes. got it. Now let's go back to the uh go back to what you said. You said that you want to work or do something so your family will be proud of you. Yeah. You said that your family is not proud of you. I don't know if they're proud of me, but I guess I am not proving something to them. That's the thing. Got it. So you're not bringing money to the family. You're not participating participating in the expenses. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So they have a certain uh, expectation. Did they tell you how much is their expectations per month or something that you that they want you to contribute? No, they 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 don't really pressured me, but I myself pressured. <laughs> okay. So look around. I... Look around. What do you see? Where are you now? In which room in the house? In your room? Yeah. Okay, do you see the door? Yeah. The door pressured? 
Yeah, it's so, close. Yeah, and is it pressured? Yeah. The door is not pressured. The door is just the door. And the ceiling, mm-hmm. how the ceiling is? Uh, plain. Yeah, the way the ceiling is. And mm-hmm. the floor? What way the floor is? Say the floor is the way... The floor. And your chair, mm-hmm. and the chair, how the chair is? It's still a chair. <laughs> it's still a chair. Just the way it is. Mm-hmm. Okay? The conversation of I'm pressuring myself does not happen in reality. It looks real for us human beings. Yes. Mm-hmm. I didn't say it's wrong to have that. The only thing that happens in your, in your body is that when a thought is coming that is saying, I should be another way and not the way that I am, then your blood pressure go up, goes up. And mm-hmm. that looks like you're pressuring yourself. Yeah. Okay? Nothing else happens. No matter what the stories that you read in books, on television, or anywhere else. Did you get that? Yes. Now, does your family tell you how much money you need to put in every month? Yes no, no? no, they... Did you check with them if they're not proud of you or they're proud of you? Did you ask them? You live with your mother? Yeah, I... We got a house here and I am all alone. My mom also got his own house and my sister and... He's already married and he's also have his own, uh, her own house and I was all left in the house. And I think I'm obliged to, to be at home. So you're saying that there is a, a, a different house where your mother lives, where your yeah. sister lives, and where yeah. you live? Yeah. I got it. And who pays your expenses? My mom. Okay, here's homework number one, okay? Mm-hmm. Go to your mother and tell her, I'm living in this apartment or this house. It's a house or an apartment? It's a house. Oh, house. I live in this house, and I'm not paying the expenses, and I'm 23 years old. Mm-hmm. And I promise you that I do everything that I can to find a great job, and I will participate in the expenses. And thank you yeah. for supporting me. Mm-hmm. Did you get homework number one? Yeah. Are you going to do that? I think I can do. No, I didn't, I didn't ask you that. I didn't ask what you're thinking. I asked, are mm-hmm. you going to have this conversation with her? Okay. Okay, good. The second thing is, Tell her that you're thinking that she's not proud of you because you're not paying the the expenses. And you apologize. Mm-hmm. And you know that she's proud of you. Mm-hmm. Ready for that too? Yeah. The job is to confront how it looks to you. What is the job? To confront him. To confront how it and looks. Yeah. It looks to you that this is how it is and it's not. And the way to confront it is to go to the people that you are inventing some stories around and tell them I invented this story and this is such a story and I know that you love me and you're proud of me and I'm doing everything. I'm working on the resume and I'm going to uh, pass the uh, civil servant and I'm looking for and I have this guy in the, in the in uh, New York that is supporting me and I will have a job until I will pass the exam in March 2019. Mm-hmm. Are you ready for that? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I'm not really know, I really don't know how to conversate, but um, I think I can do it and I will. Yeah, I will do it. Okay, you want, I can write it on uh, on the chat after that. Yeah.
Thanks. You say it in your own, uh, you would con- translate it to Tagalog and, uh, and say it. Okay? Yeah, thanks. Okay. Now, back to the, uh, what do you mean, what are you doing that you're looking for a job? What kind of a job are you looking in the meantime until you'll be accepted by the government to, to work for that? Well, I'm looking for a, I think I can, since I'm, I'm a graduate of a computer science and I really wanted to work online. What do you, you graduate in computer science? Yeah. And what did you did you ever work with it? Since my dad died, uh before he died, I'm a IT instructor but then I resigned so now that he died I am looking for another job and and that's upset me because he died last June and now it's November and I haven't even got a new work again and that really bothered me and makes me upset. That's why, that's why I'm thinking a lot of thing, things that make me sad and that's it. I, I got it. So the first thing is, can you forgive your father for dying before you before it was the right time for you. Mm-hmm. To say, I forgive my father for dying. Yeah, I, I forgive my father for, for dying. And it, can you forgive yourself for taking the time, quote unquote, after his dead, death, to get, get back to the life that you used to have? Yeah. Say I yeah. forgive myself. That's hard. I forgive myself and for taking the for, time. For taking the time that I use for myself. After my father died. After my father died. To find a job. New job. And find a job. A new job. Okay, we put all that in the past. Mm-hmm. What is the meaning that you gave to your father's death? Ah, uh, that the is that you, you have you have about you and about him and about life. Life is really tough, and life is unexpected. Mm-hmm. Life is unexpected. Things unexpected happens in life, and it's really tough. Yeah, I got it. Okay, what did you mean about him? Uh. What did you mean by your father's death? What did you mean about your father? What does it mean about your father? Like you, you have a conversation. My father died. My father is. It could be that my father disappointed me. My father doesn't care about me. My father left me. I'm all alone. As I've said, he's the one who planned for my life and now that he's gone and I'm starting to figure out uh, where to start. That's why. I got it. So what I hear is your conversation about your father. He left me to figure out life by myself. Uh, Yeah. And it's tough. And it's hard. It's hard. Okay. So the only thing that happened is that your father died. Mm Mm-hmm. Nothing else happened. It's a huge thing, and nothing else happened. He didn't leave you. He didn't leave you to figure out life. And life is not hard. Life is just life. Mm -hmm. There's nothing hard in life. Look around. Show me life. Okay, you found it? Uh Now show me hard life. Did you find hard life around you? Did you find easy life around you? Life is just? Life. Yes, and life is not what life is not. Mm -hmm. That's it. Now, if you keep saying that your life is tough, how is your life? It would be hard. Yeah. 
Now, who say that? Uh, who says that the life is hard? I. Yeah. And when you say that life is hard, life is going to be tough. Yeah. You have the say in the matter of your life. You say how life is, and then life is. Mm-hmm. Do you know a, a game of baseball in the U.S.? Yeah. From. So there, you uh, know, there is there is the referee called umpire. Uh huh. And he's saying if it's a the strike or a ball when the uh, pitcher is pitching the, the ball. Okay. Mm-hmm. Three types of of umpire. The young guy umpire is saying, they ask him what is a strike, and he says, a strike is when you have the ball in outside of some some uh, rectangular. The more experienced mm-hmm. is saying, when I see that it's outside the rectangular, I call it a strike. And the master, and this is what what I promise you, if you take this action, you'll be the master. The master says, it's a strike when I call it a strike. And before I called it a strike, mm-hmm. you have a say in the matter of your life. You call your, uh, your life hard, your life is. You call your life amazing, your life is. It's going to be amazing. Is amazing. Right mm-hmm. then and then. So your assignment now is to wipe the frown out of uh, your face, smile, mm-hmm. and have the most amazing life. And how are you going to have the amazing life? You just say, my life is amazing. I'm proud of my father. I'm proud of my mother. They love me very much. I'm honored to be there. And they are proud of me right now. Yeah. Did you get that? I do. Okay. So what did you get out of this conversation, Ali? Well, all of those thoughts are are created in my based on my imaginations and based on the heartaches that I felt. And I am the only one who make life complicated. I am the only one who uh, thinks about hard things even though it doesn't exist and I am the only one who think about it and even though uh, there's a lot of things that I can I can see that is beautiful than what life it is but yeah that's uh, all of those things are created by me yes they're all created by you and they are created in language pay attention that's new mm-hmm. The way you create life is in language. And you can keep creating that it's hard and tough, or you can create that it's excellent, extraordinary, amazing, and any other word that you will find. So which one are you choosing to uh, to take on? Which life do you want to live? A happy life. A happy life? A fruitful. Awesome. So how is your life right now? I ask a little you a question, bit. how do you want your life to be right now? Well, I really want to be a, have that happy life and a fruitful life. Beautiful. Now, so say how your life is. Yeah. How's your life I want, right now? I want my life to... My life no, is happy one, and... The one. Your life is what? My, my life is happy and fruitful. That's it? When? Starting today, I guess. Right now. Say right now. Yeah. Right now. That's it. Did you get that? Yeah, I do. Awesome. Great work. Do the homework. Create your life in language and we'll schedule something for next week, okay? Yeah, thank you, thank you. Did I pronounce your name correctly, Ayla? Yeah. Okay. Magandang umaga. Magandang gabi rin sa'yo.
Okay. Thank you. You're amazing. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.